वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स टू दिस सेशन डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फ्रॉम क्लास नाइन मैथमेटिक्स बुक चैप्टर सिक्स लाइन्स एंड एंगल्स पार्ट फोर डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव लर्न अबाउट सम थ्योरम्स ऑन पार्ल लाइन्स एंड ट्रांसवर्सल वन ऑफ देम इज इफ ए ट्रांसवर्सल intersect two parallel lines then each pair of alternate interior angles is equal and its converse is if a transversal intersects two lines such that a pair of alternate interior angles is equal then the two lines are parallel and third one is if a transversal intersects two parallel lines then each pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal is supplementary and its converse is if a transversal intersects two lines such that on the same side of the transversal is supplementary then the two lines are parallel so this was all we discussed earlier and today we are going to learn about parallel lines and a transversal and here lines parallel to the same line and related problems on parallel lines so let's have a look at the picture that a line is there if some other lines are parallel to this then what happens if two lines are parallel to the same line will they be parallel to each other let's draw two lines m which is parallel to l and another line n which is also parallel to l then will m and n be parallel so what is the relation as we discuss now the relation between the lines and m and n is stated in the following theorem then what this theorem states lines which are parallel to the same line are parallel to each other let's look at this figure line m is parallel to line l and line n is parallel to line l now what to prove we have to prove line m is parallel to line n now we have to construct something to prove this what is the construction draw a line t transversal for the lines l m and n and name their respective corresponding angles as 1 2 and 3 then after naming these corresponding angles now let's see how to prove it it is given that line m is parallel to line l and t is the transversal then what are the corresponding angles so angle 1 and angle 2 are the corresponding angles so they are equal now let's consider another pair that is n with l then t is the transversal if line n is parallel to line l and t is transversal then what are the corresponding angles the corresponding angles are 1 and 3 so these two are also equal by corresponding angle axiom so we have now two equations that is equation 1 shows that angle 1 is equal to angle 2 and the equation 2 shows that angle 1 is equal to angle 3 so from these two equations we conclude that angle 2 is equal to angle 3 now look at the figure what are the angles 2 and 3 angle 2 and 
are corresponding angles of the transversal T by M and N. So, as these two are corresponding angles and they are equal, so line M is parallel to line L. This is the converse of the corresponding angle axiom. Now, we uh, completed this uh, theorem. Now, let us have some problems to uh, which in which we will apply these theorems. See, here the question is, in the given figure, if AB is parallel to CD and CD is parallel to EF, Y is to Z is equal to 3 is to 7, find X. So, from this statement, we see that AB is parallel to CD and EF is also parallel to CD. So, AB is also parallel to EF by the theorem we discussed just. Now, so let us have a look at this board. Here it is A B C D and E F where P Q are at the point of intersection by the the angle APQ is named as X, angle PQC is named as Y and angle QRF is named as Z. Now, you see angle as AB is parallel to CD, we have PQ or PR transversal we can say that angle APQ plus angle PQC equal to 180 degree because co interior angles. Co interior angles. These two are co interior angles. This shows that x plus y is equal to 180 degree. As AB is parallel to CD and CD is parallel to EF, this implies AB is parallel to EF. AB is parallel to EF and PQ is the transversal. This implies angle APQ is equal to Q R F. See what is APK? APK is X and Q R F is Z. You see X is X plus Y is 180 degree, A X is equal to Z. So, from equation 1 and equation 2, what do we get? From equation 1 and 2, we get that Z plus Y is equal to 180 degree because X equal to Z. In place of X, we can write Z. So, Z plus Y is 180 degree and also Y is to Z given to be 3 is to 7. Then what is Z? Z is equal to 7. Corresponding value of Z is 7 by 
sum of the ratios that is 3 plus 7 into what is the sum of y plus z that is 180 degree that gives 7 by 10 into 180 degree uh, 7 by 10 into 180 degree that gives 7 into 18 that gives 126. So, value of z is 126. Earlier we proved that x is equal to z. Hence, x is equal to 126 degree. So, this is our solution. So, by applying the last theorem and alternate angle theorem, we could solve it. Here, a figure is given and PQ is parallel to ST. Angle PQR is 110 degree and angle RST is equal to 130 degree. What is the uh, measure of angle QRS. Now you see PQ, the figure is like this. Here it is PQ and S, T, and this is R. Given PQ is parallel to ST angle PQR is 110 degree and angle RST is equal to 130 degree. To find the value of this QRS, let us have a construction, draw a line through R which is parallel to PQ. So, draw a line draw a line through R parallel to PQ. If PQ is parallel to ST and PQ is parallel to say let this name be AB, draw a line AB say, draw a line AB through R parallel to PQ, PQ is parallel to ST and PQ is parallel to AB. So, this shows that, that ST is also parallel to AB. Now, if ST is parallel to AB and let SR is the transversal. SR is the transversal. So, SR is transversal. From this, we get angle TSR plus angle SRB equal to 180 degree as co angle these two are co angles. Out of this we have given TSR to be 130 degree. So, 130 degree plus SRB angle is equal to 180 degree that shows angle SRB is equal to 180 minus 130 that is 50 degree. Similarly, as SRB is now this is 50 degree. Now come to the parallel lines 
PQ and AB. If PQ is parallel to AB and QR is transversal. Then what happens? Similarly, angle P Q R plus angle Q R A is equal to 180 degree co-interior which gives angle P Q R is 110 degree. So, 110 degree plus Q R A angle is equal to 180 degree. From this, we get that from this let's uh, wipe it this shows angle QRA is equal to 180 minus 110 degree that is 70 degree so this angle become QRA becomes 70 degree. So, we have in this figure we have here 70 degree and this is 50 degree where Q is somewhere here and S is uh, somewhere here. Now, see at R at the, as this is A R B is a straight angle so, sum of these three angles will be 180 degree. Hence, angle Q R A plus angle S R B plus angle Q R S is equal to 180 degree. Now, put the values of Q R A and uh, S R B. Your QRA is equal to 70 degree and SRB is 50 degree plus QRS is equal to 180 degree. Now, this is 120 degree plus angle QRS is equal to 180 degree. This shows angle QRS is equal to 180 degree minus 120 degree that is 60 degree. So, this was our question find angle QRS and we found that the value of angle QRS is 60 degree. So, just by applying the theorems of the parallel lines we can solve it. Let us have a look to another question. Here the question is like this AB is parallel to CD in this figure and angle APQ is equal to 50 degree and angle PRD is equal to 127 degree. Find the value of X and Y. Now see in this figure AB are two parallel lines. A line like this that is PQ and another line is like this PR. Angle APQ is given 50 degree and angle PRD is given 127 degree. If this value is X that is PQR is X and QPR is Y find the value of x and y. Now, how to solve this? You see, AB is parallel to CD and PQ is the transversal. This implies angle APQ angle APQ is equal to angle PQR. Now, put the values of APQ and P 
पी क्यू आर व्हाट इज ए पी क्यू ए पी क्यू इज फिफ्टी डिग्री एंड व्हाट इज पी क्यू आर पी क्यू आर इज एक्स दैट मीन्स हियर वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी डिग्री नाउ पी आर डी इज वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी सेवेन डिग्री एगेन कंसिडरिंग ए बी इज पार्लाल टू सी डी एंड पी आर एज ट्रांसवर्सल पी आर इज ट्रांसवर्सल वट डिड गेट वी गेट दैट एंगल ए पी आर इज इक्वल टू एंगल ए पी आर इज इक्वल टू एंगल पी आर डी सी एंगल ए पी आर इज मेड फ्रॉम टू एडजस्टेंट एंगल वट इज दैट ए पी क्यू क्यू पी आर सो इन प्लेस ऑफ ए पी आर वी कैन राइट एंगल ए पी क्यू प्लस एंगल क्यू पी आर इज इक्वल टू एंगल पी आर डी ना पुट दी वैल्यूज ऑफ दिस एंगल्स ए पी क्यू इज फिफ्टी डिग्री प्लस क्यू पी आर इज वाई डिग्री एंड पी आर डी इज वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी सेवेन डिग्री फ्रॉम दिस वी गेट वाई इज इक्वल टू वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी सेवेन डिग्री माइनस फिफ्टी डिग्री दैट इज सेवेंटी सेवेन डिग्री सो वी गॉट एक्स इक्वल टू फिफ्टी डिग्री एंड वाई इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटी सेवेन डिग्री सो दिस इज ऑल्सो एप्लीकेशन ऑफ दोज थेरम्स ना सी अनदर क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इज लाइक दिस इन द गिवेन फिगर पी क्यू एंड आर एस आर टू मिरर्स प्लेस्ड पार्लाल टू इच अदर एंड इंसिडेंट रे ए बी स्ट्राइक्स द मिरर पी क्यू एट बी द रिफ्लेक्टेड रे मूव्स अलॉन्ग द पाथ बी सी यू सी द रिफ्लेक्टेड रे मूव्स अलॉन्ग पाथ बी सी एंड एगेन इट स्ट्राइक्स एट आर एस एंड इट इज एगेन रिफ्लेक्ट बैक इन द इन सी डी अलॉन्ग सी डी सो वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट ए बी एंड सी डी आर पार्लाल सो टू सॉल्व दिस वी हैव टू रिकल द लॉ ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन इन दैट केस वी हैव ए फिगर लाइक दिस लेट्स ड्रॉ टू नॉर्मल्स और परपेंडिकुलर्स बी एम एंड सी एन एट पी क्यू एंड आर एस रेस्पेक्टिवली एंड इन सच केस एंगल ए बी एम इज द एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस एंड एम बी सी इज द एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन एंड दीज टू आर इक्वल सिमिलरली बी सी एन इज एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस एंड एन सी डी इज द एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन सो एंगल थ्री एंगल फोर आर ऑल्सो इक्वल सो यूजिंग दिस लॉ वी कैन सॉल्व दिस एज यू सी इन दिस फिगर योर एंगल वन एंड एंगल टू आर इक्वल एंगल वन इज इक्वल टू एंगल टू बाय लॉज ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन सिमिलरली एंगल थ्री इज इक्वल टू एंगल फोर एगेन बाय लॉज ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन Now you see, PQ is parallel to RS and M BM is uh, perpendicular to PQ. 
this implies B m is also perpendicular to R s. If we extend it, then it will also perpendicular to R s. And also we have given C n is perpendicular to R s. This implies C B m is perpendicular to R s, C n is perpendicular to R s. This shows that B m is parallel to C n. Now, taking B m parallel to C n and what is the transversal? Look at the figure. The transversal is B c. In the figure, it is the transversal of B m and C n is B c. If these are the, uh, if B c is the transversal, this shows that angle 2 is equal to angle 3. This is uh, alternate interior angle. Now, as 1 and 2 are equal, 3 and 4 are equal and here 2 and 3 are equal that means all these angles are equal. If we consider angle A, B, C, this is equal to angle C, A, B, C constitute of angle 1 and 2, so angle 1 plus angle 2. These two are equal and 2 is equal to 3 and 4. See, 2, 1 equal to 2, 3 equal to 4 and 2 is equal to 3. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 all are equal. From this we can write that 3 plus 4 are also in place of 1 plus 2 we can also write 3 plus 4 and this 3 plus 4 gives angle B C D. Now, if we consider that A B C and B C D, if you look at the picture A B C and B C D, these are alternate interior angles if B C is the transversal of as line A B and C D. But these are alternate interior angles formed by transversal, which is the transversal? Transversal B C with A B and C D. So, this shows as the alternate angles are equal, so the lines are parallel. So, this shows that A B is parallel to C D. This is converse of the alternate interior angle theorem. So, dear students, today we discuss about the parallel lines and its application, the theorem of parallel lines and their applications. By using those theorem, we could be able to solve some problems from the parallel line uh, based questions. So, dear students, this is time now. Have a good day. Thank you.